ADC, aka the High Priestess 777, ODC Virtual Services Incorporated, headquartered in Tennessee. Welcome, everyone, and hello. If you are here, welcome back, uh, especially if you're uh, coming from Big O Live. This is a 10 day boot camp on Big O uh, Live where we break down the cash flow quadrant all the way from the the uh, E quadrant all the way to the I quadrant. And we actually going through tools and the necessary procedures to cross over each quadrant. So welcome back uh, in, in things of that nature. If you're watching this on another social media form, um, a platform, another social media platform, welcome as well. Um, if you would like uh, some live coverage from the song of the day all the way to our mindset conditioning, just feel free to go to be go live at six o'clock central um, time uh, each day up to the uh, the thirtieth of June. So. But welcome if you're on another platform. So today what we're going to do, we're going to break down the E quadrant and we're going to um, go over um, basically E quadrant and then um, we're going to do the 100K um, top 10 jobs without a college degree. So we're going to take a look at that and break that down as well. And then we're going to break down the work at home jobs and how to complete a, uh, where to complete a resume and cover letter without having any kind of experience in it and then we're going to turn around and find our journey job one of the samples using the top 10 jobs so um, i'm excited thank you again for um tuning in let's get it okay first and foremost look, what we're going to do we're going to start and try to do like a brief review okay um we're not going to go through all the whole gist of it in the past couple of days if you've been um going through this with us we uh, listened to the book um, the whole uh, couple hours of the book, completed the book, and now uh, we're basically uh, already reviewed. So each one, we're going to go over like the definition and then break down what, what we can do in order to be in that quandary, right? The e quandary, how you know that you have somebody that's, that's in an employee quandary, you will hear them saying they want to be secure or they want to have benefits such as like a secure steady paycheck or they want benefits such as like health insurance, 401k, and where have you here. And if you're going through it in the book, it's, this is uh, page 27 and 28. If you going to, if you got the uh, book, we do have the PDF book uh, as well to give y'all if y'all need to. But anyway, the employee has secure benefits. They have a steady paycheck. They have a, uh, they have benefits and basically they employ either by the government or a private uh, business. Only benefits that they have is to, uh, a somewhat little form of security, but they pay the most taxes and, and, and things of that nature um, as well. So they pay the most taxes and they don't have any control on what they're actually, uh, you know, working towards. So you're working towards somebody else's dream uh, here. Don't get me wrong. Each quandary got its benefits, right? And this is the the security part. You gonna get a paycheck, and you gonna get some good insurance. And insurance is high right now, so you get some good in insurance. So employees can be uh, presidents of companies. They can be CEOs, things of that nature, and uh, and those type of people like uh, CEOs. Uh, manager, so on and so forth, they consider to be usually on salary um, based work. So if you pay them a certain amount a year for them to do their uh, work duties, whereas you got janitors that are hourly, nothing wrong with janitors. They take care of everything uh, as far as uh, the cleanliness of the company. So that's very important sanitation of the company and they pay hourly basis. As well, both of them get their benefits and so on and so forth. As far as being having stable and like uh 401k and so on and so forth, but they don't have control of anything uh, at all. It's just a contractual agreement there, so you just got to be mindful of that. But this place, this quandary, is foundational. So you going to uh, any anyone going to start as an employee so you want to utilize that uh quandary in the best way possible so you don't want to be on the, the lowest of the low you want to be secured so you could cross over to 
the S and B and R and so on and so forth. So utilizing this um, quadrant, you want to get the best. So what we're going to do, we're going to find the top 10 jobs that you, we can get now without a, a, a grade. And this is uh, modified June 20th, uh, 2022 here. So we're going to go through uh, briefly each one. And then you, I'm going to show you how to get actually find these jobs. Right. So the, the top 10 which we started at number 10 is professional athletes. Uh, anyone that has professional sports, you know, the common kind of NFL, so on and so forth. So if you're a professional uh, athlete, like you play football, play basketball, you could go through and make that a career. And so number nine is a freelance writer. So you like to write and things of that nature. You can make a lot of money over 100K without a degree. The next one, number eight, is the head chef. So if you went to culinary school, that's a, a, a good uh, career. And then, you got, of course, you got firefighter and a police officer. They always need some of them. And then you got a plumber. We always need a plumber. And then, you see, business owner is number five, right, on the top ten. And, um... In this top 10, even in an employee status, in an employee quadrant, you find business owner number five. But we're going to expound on that a little bit later as well. So entrepreneurs, business owners is number five. Real estate brokers. So going into real estate and things of that nature, we're selling property, even in real estate investing. Um, in real estate investment, you can start with your investment about, uh, you know, $500 for even for real estate. As well, so that's dabbing in the I quadrant. You see, everything it, the E quadrant is a foundational. So number three is a sales consultant. So you could um, get paid high paid jobs, um, being in sales and things of that nature. Um, but it just depends on who you uh, selling for, such as like car license so forth. Number two is being a virtual assistant. Uh, this is a actual being a secretary. You could actually cross that over working from home and becoming business owners, virtual assistants and hiring virtual assistants on your own. So that's number two. And then number one, last but not least, is the air traffic controller. So you're working for uh, airlines um, and things of that nature. You can make 100K annually without a degree. So these are the type of jobs, which I'm going to send you the link. I'm going to be brief with this. But these are the type of jobs you can get for 100K without having a degree, right? So it's a beautiful thing. All right. And so what for you a person that don't like to work, you know, work with the public or you just, you want to find something on your schedule, you're a single parent, um, you are a student, you go to school, anything um, that caused the work from home or the, the pandemic. If you want to work at home, you're able to work at home. But the thing about working at home is not going to fall in for scams and things of that nature. So um, this website here that I'm going to show you is going to be called the Rat Race uh, Rebellion. And this is going to tell you all the work at home jobs that's current right now and that's hiring right now and so on and so forth here. So the Rat Rebe Race Rebellion is Rat, Rebe Rat Race <laughs> Rebellion dot com. So you will go on this website and you got uh, good sources like CNN and so on and so forth. You'll go on here and see who's actually hiring here for, okay. Seasonal work for a home contact center with Amazon. Amazon is hiring for $18 an hour. That just came out yesterday. So you'll click on that. It'll tell you the gist of it. And then boom, you apply for it. And then, you know, I, you apply for, you know, find a good 10 to 20, Apply that money, you got to work at home job. Some of these jobs got sign-on bonuses on it. Some, you, you could see, they see you know, the equipment and, and, th and things like that. And you got non-phone jobs. So you just look through here, do your due diligence. You always want to do your due diligence and put some sweat equity in it and find a job that's right for you. And it's going to be legitimate jobs every day. So this is just like a classified as just for, uh, like a classified, like a Craigslist for nothing but working home jobs legitimate um for example they got a rise i am a, a rise vendor so basically you working as a self-employed call center agent making 17 dollars an hour so that's that so that's red race rebellion right here so 
some of these jobs, whether it's a brick and mortar job or a work at home job, it may require a resume and a cover letter, right? So, um, a lot of times we either busy, we don't have the time to do a free, you know, do a cover letter or a resume, or we just don't know how to do it, right? Um, what this does, this actually uh, cut the fluff out of it, and you just get everything done right in, there, right here and there. It says it's free, but you may have a small fee, but it's a small fee that you're not paying for a resume to be done professionally, $30, $40, right? So you you learn it and you're getting the same things done. So the first uh, website here is called resume.com. So you'll go in here, go on this website. There are all links. Again, I'm going to see the links. You'll go in here and create your resume. Boom. Then you will create a cover letter. A lot of times create cover letters. People don't really use cover letters like that. But if you really want this job and want to stand out, you'll do your cover letter. And boom, you do your cover letter. But as far as your resume is concerned, you want to only do one page of what's relevant um, to that actual um, job. So you just want to be mindful of that. You do get a, have a master copy resume and show everything that you have done in the past. Let me see if I got my resume here. Let's see. So this is all my professional jobs here. And this was kind of work experience. And it got a little little some sum on there, but all that shit you can find <laughs> You can find on the internet, so I know I'm on Big Live. People, people like to find, think they finding some stuff, but um, that all that's public information. But anyway, so this is this is just a master copy. So let's say I was looking for something just for insurance, right? A job for insurance. So I just copy paste what's that uh, on there. Put um, my education, put my skills, and so on and so forth, and then customize it based on that actual job. Here, well, yeah, that's a little some some a, a little example there. So you'll do your resume on resume.com for free. Do your cover letter on resume lab.com. Cover letter builder, boom. Now you got your cover letter and uh resume. So you'll give it to those jobs. So how do you find the good jobs? All right, let's get to that. So to find the good jobs, what you're going to do, you're going to go on something reputable, and the what I, I believe is reputable. And you've been used for time and time again. It's called Indeed.com, right? Indeed.com got all. It's basically like right race rebellion. It's like classified with all the jobs that's available, whether it's work at home or brick and mortar. So what you'll do, since you know the top ten things that's gonna make you 100k a year, you're gonna look for it, right? For example, let's look for freelance writer here. And you may see some entry level, so you'll be able to filter that out. So you'll see freelance uh, writer. It'll tell you what, what you need here. So boom. Now you found something that can top up 100K a year. 100K a year, you could survive off 100K a year. You really want to be cushioned with this um, inflation. You at least want at least 250 right a hundred k a year you could uh, cushion you know survive 150 a little bit better but due to the inflation you want to always double things in the inflation so it's possible working you know having a job and then doing something else on the side uh as well so yeah so you got the freelance writer here and then you would just it put it in there um professional athlete professional sports They got something for professional sports here. So, boom, there you go. So, that's how you get in an E-Quandrant, 100K or more, just like that. I just clicked out of something. But if you have any questions, concerns, just feel free to give me a contact. If you've watched this on um, Beagle Live, thank you so much. If you watch it on another social media platform, thank you so much. Until we meet again, peace. <laughs>